Okay, so you're going to be doing some dilutions today and trying to do some enumerations. To do the enumeration of, say, a soil sample like this, you can't plate this directly and hope to count things because there'll probably be too many cells, too many colonies in a couple days. So you have to make a dilution, a series dilution. So what you do is you make a 1 to 10 dilution of your sample. In your case, it'll be a sample from your dissolved pellets. Uh, and to do that, you basically are going to be given micropipettes and pipette tips and um, Eppendorf tubes. You will need some kind of diluent. It's either going to be sterile water or a phosphate buffer. You'll be given uh, a hockey stick or something similar and some alcohol to sterilize that in. And then, of course, you've got your plates that are ready to go, multiple plates that go with each of these dilution tubes. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my diluent in a series of these tubes to begin my um, uh, dilutions. And this is pretty simple. You got to use sterile technique. Whoops. And I'm just going to make one to ten dilutions because that's the easiest for me to do. And that seems to be a good round number in terms of getting everything ready to go. Remember, you don't need huge volumes. But you just go through and you get your diluents on there ready to go. Now that you've got all these ready, you then take your sample and a pipette tip that fits, and you make your first dilution a 1 to 10 dilution. So you go into your sample, go into your first diluent, Put the sample in. I pipette up and down a few times to make sure it's there. You can vortex this, or I just shake it back and forth a few times. Get a new tip. And now take a volume and make a 1 to 10 dilution of your 1 to 10 dilution. And do the next in the series. That makes this be a 1 to 100 dilution. Shake it up. Give your tip. Go to the next one, and so on. So now I have <coughs> a 1 to 10, a 1 to 100, and a 1 to 1,000 dilution. Now for each of those, I want to plate out a volume onto my, onto my Petri dish and spread it out. So I'm going to use my hockey stick method. So I set my pipetman to 100 microliters. I have my plate labeled as 1 to 10, and what my sample is. In this case, simple 1. I take out my 100 microliters from here. I set this using a different location so I remember what I've done. And I just take this and put this directly in the center, 100 microliters into the center of that plate. Get rid of my tip. Now, I take my hockey stick, I coat it with alcohol, and I flame it briefly. Just pass it through the flame and the alcohol will burn off. You don't need to sit there and hold this into the flame for 100 years. Let the alcohol burn off. Come back to your plate. Touch the edge where there's no drop so that you kind of cool it. And then you just go ahead and spin this around and basically put all that liquid, 100 microliters, out on the whole surface of the plate. When you're done, put some more alcohol on your hockey stick, flame it again, it's ready for the next round. You then leave these plates labeled um, either out on your bench, or you can even put them in the hood in the lab and take the, take the lids actually off because they're sterile hoods. That'll help things dry down, but you've got to let these dry down before you incubate them. Otherwise, if you turn them before the liquid has uh, 
dry it onto the plate, you're going to get smears of bacterial colony. You don't want that. So that's an example of how you're going to do the manipulations for doing your enumerations.